Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using mixins in less. And mixins allow you to take predefined CSS classes and IDs and embed them into other CSS classes or IDs. So imagine that I had a CSS class and I wanted to use all of the attributes from that class inside of another class. Well, I could use a mixin to embed the attributes from the original class inside of the new class. And then that new class would have all the attributes from the original class, and it could also add in some additional attributes of its own. Over here in my style.less file, I have this dot fancy border. This is a fancy border class, and basically it just applies a, a border to an element. So over here, you can see that I'm using this fancy border on my header one. So over here on this header one, I'm just implementing that fancy border class and it looks pretty good. But imagine I wanted to create another even fancier border that would use all of this same code, but also some additional code. Well, all I have to do to do that is define a new class down here. So we'll call this fancier border. And inside of this fancier border class, I can actually import all of the code from this fancy border class. And I can do that by just typing out the name. So fancy border and then a semicolon, and this will actually grab all of the code from inside of here. And then I can add some additional code. So I could say maybe background color yellow, and then we can define like a border radius, of, let's say five pixels. And if I take this fancier border class and I give it to another element, so let's give it to our footer down here and We'll just say that it's using this class now. So when I refresh my page, you'll see that this footer is now using the dashed border from that fancy border, but it's also using the yellow and the border radius from the fancier border class. So that's a way that you can embed the attributes from one class into another, just like we did down here. You can also take this a step further. So imagine you wanted to define a CSS class or maybe a CSS ID, and I could easily use an ID for this instead of a class, it doesn't really matter. But imagine you wanted to define one that was only meant to be used for embedding inside of other classes. Well, you can actually put some open and close parentheses after this, and what these open and closed parentheses are gonna tell less is it's gonna tell less that we only wanna use this CSS class inside of our less file. And basically it'll make it so we can't access this class inside of our CSS file. So when I save this file and I refresh my web browser, you'll notice that this dashed border on the header is gonna disappear because we can no longer directly access this dot fancy border class anymore. And you'll see here that it disappears, right? So even though I'm including the fancy border class inside of this header, it's not using it anymore because I'm defining these open and close parentheses, which basically tells less that we only want to use it inside the less file. And when you use these open and close parentheses, you can actually pass values into this class or uh, the ID. So imagine that I wanted each of these classes down here when they call this fancy border to be able to give it some attributes. So maybe we want it to be able to control the size and the color of the attribute. So I can define two variables in here size, and I can give it a default value of one pixel, and then I can define another variable called color, and we'll give this another default value of black. And then down here, I can replace color with at color, and we can place the size with at size. So now, when I call this fancy border, I can call it using these open and close parentheses. And if I don't specify any values, it'll just stay the same. It'll use these default values. But if I want, I could pass this some other values. So imagine we wanted to have a 10 pixel border that was blue. Now when I refresh my web browser, you'll see that we get exactly that. So we have a 10 pixel border that's a different color. And I could you know, change this all day long. I could change it to green. And the idea is that I could have another, you know, let's say I had another CSS class, you know, maybe it was called like even fancier border and that border wanted to be red. I could, you know, use this same border code, but I could change the color or I could change the size 
depending on the class that I'm calling it from. So that's another way that these things can be really powerful. And you know, obviously like defining something like this and then using it inside of other classes is a great way to make your less more modular. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.